Welcome to the Business Blast Podcast. I'm your host, Tyler Wagner. This episode is brought to you by Authors Unite. Authors Unite provides you with the support you need to finish your book. Best part is, after you finish your book, they take care of the entire publishing and marketing process 100% for you. So, if you want to become a successful author, make sure to check out AuthorsUnite.com. Now, let's jump into the episode. All right, everyone. Welcome back to another episode of the Business Blast podcast. I'm your host, Tyler Wagner. Today, I have Kristen Gallucci with us. She is a brand and marketing strategist. She has been helping Fortune 500 companies, mid-sized businesses, and startups turn their brands into icons for 20 years. She is also a LinkedIn expert and has been recognized as an influencer in the social realm. So welcome to the show. Thank you, Tyler. I'm happy to be here. Of course. Grateful to have you on. So let's jump into the first one, Kristen. The first one I got for you is what is the best story from your life that has an underlying valuable message? Well, you know, I grew up um, with a single mother. So I always look to that because there were so many lessons throughout my childhood just from watching my mom. And she really never showed weakness. So while I'm probably tougher at times than I needed to be throughout my career, um, I definitely attribute that to her is knowing that I'm always stronger than I think I am. Um, that's kind of the message that I've taken away from that. Mm. She never let me believe she was struggling or had difficulties. Mm. And now I look to that as a guide to know that I'm stronger than I think I am. And what is the most valuable piece of information we should know that's within your expertise or industry? Well, as you can imagine, uh, personal branding is kind of the buzzword right now. And I often get eye rolls when I mention the word personal branding. But the truth is that everyone has a brand. And really what you do with it is what makes the difference. Um, What I can tell you is that those with a strong online and in-person presence always have more success. So I see no reason why not to expand your personal brand and really, um, you know, focus on it and make it work for you. And it could tie in, but what's your best piece of overall business advice? So not necessarily industry specific. Yeah, well, I've worked with many different companies, all different sizes, types of people um, in the business. And I truly believe that culture is really connected to the brand. So you know, your culture, a positive culture is really critical to success. Um, And I, you know, I believe that starts with the hiring process and continues through the life of someone being in a company, but it's also how people exit the company. That is also important. They carry your message of your brand forward. And if you could give your younger self one piece of advice, what would that be? Take more risks. I tend to be uh, an overthinker. So I'm trying to practice that now in my, in my uh, older age <laughs> to take more rest. And, and then kind of going a little bit down a different path here. In your opinion, what is the key to happiness? Uh, you know, I believe it starts with self-love and it can't be found externally. So I think it's different for everyone. For me, it's, it's my kids watching the joy my kids have. Um, but I think it starts with really caring about yourself and taking care of yourself. And what is the best book that you've read and what was the number one thing you learned from that? Well, I've read a lot of incredible books, but most recently I read The Subtle Art of Not Giving a an F by <laughs> Mark Manson. <laughs> and um, so many takeaways from that. But one thing that I've really applied, and it goes along with risk taking, is just taking action taking action is really powerful. So he has a a do something principle that he talks of, which is do something now, even if it's really small and let good actions cascade as a result. So I love that, that thinking. And what is your favorite quote and why? Um, So I really wanted to use one that has resonated with me recently. And um, Mel Robbins, who is an incredible speaker and author I love her. She actually has a new talk show coming out now too. I resonate with her and she talks about confidence as not being a belief in self, but being the will being the willingness to try. So I think 
you know, when people look at confidence, they often say, what can I do to change? What can I read that will help me change? Or what can I, what can I listen to? Or what speaker will help me get, gain more confidence? But really it's just about taking that action and taking that risk and trying something that brings confidence. Yes. Well, listen, thank you so much for coming on. The last one I have for you before we let you go is where can our audience best find you online? Well, thank you for having me. I appreciate it. And uh, the best, easiest place is probably LinkedIn in uh, linkedin.com slash IN slash Kristen Gallucci. Or, and I'm, then I have a website that's under construction right now, but it's kristengallucci.com. Perfect. Thanks again for coming on. Thanks, Tyler. Talk to you soon. The podcast you just heard was made using Anchor. Ever thought about making your own podcast? Anchor makes it really easy for anyone to get started. It's a one-stop shop for recording, hosting, and distributing podcasts. Best of all, it's 100% free. Sign up now at anchor.fm slash new. That's anchor.fm slash new to get started.